I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about camp. This camp means the world to these kids, including me. This camp, you get there, and it's more than a camp, it's family. This camp is a way to grieve, a way you've never grieved before. So, you get to camp, and it's like any other camp, and you're just like, there, and it's camp. But then, as you go through the camp, you start creating this bond with these people that you don't have to explain yourself to. You immediately connect with the people around you because you don't have to explain yourself and your story to why you're there. A camper, his name is Zach, he's a really good friend of mine. He said, two plus two is four, but so is one plus three. We are all here for, we're all here for the same reason, but our stories to how we got there are different. And so that's how I continue on as I continue to do what I do, which is speaking to you guys right now. And so, so because of that, there was a night at camp uh, they did this poem called We Remember Them, and my friend Zach started crying, and then I started crying. And then, next thing I know, my entire cabin is crying, because this is the first time I've been in however long it was that I had to So, right when I'm about to get myself together, so I have to be like, yo, this is, I can do this, I can be strong for my friends, another cabin comes over, and we're this poem just sobbing. I cried for four and a half hours that night. It was the best thing I've ever done. So this, and I was talking to a guy who helps run the kid. He, uh, I was talking to him more than a few months and he said, I was like, thanks for letting all of us weird kids in my room and your poems. He said, it's always good to have friends here. And he stopped and looked at me and said, tell us about the family. So, the camp isn't just for the kids, it's for the people who donate to the campers and it's also okay. It's also good for the people who donate to the campers and to people who go to the camp. So like that? Alright. Do I need to repeat everything I just said or about this experience with camp. Um, he had an amazing breakthrough at camp that I found out about the day when I picked him up. I was pulled aside and told that he had to be unlocked for about four hours while he worked through all of the grief that he hadn't touched in many years. And it was the first time he was as light as he was and slept as well as he did. And it was because of camp. Uh, the lightness that he displayed and the relief that he displayed after going through the experience with camp moved me to do the work that I needed to do as a mom who was very lost in not knowing how to help her son free. So we lost our hus or my husband, Staff Sergeant Chad Simon, his father, after injuries sustained in November of 04. He eventually died in August of 05 from a brain injury as a result of an IED. And we are very proud of the service that his dad and my husband have done, have, has done, but it was very difficult to um, find normalcy again, to be trying to make it up, try to uh, force it, and ended up running from the grief part of it. Uh, so after the breakthrough that we had at uh, camp, we have started faithfully attending Cal's Corner, which is the group that uh, provides the pediatric grief counseling for our camp. And as a result, I think we've both individually and together grown in our group work that we've done. And so we've experienced a lot of gifts and blessings from the experience of camp. Um, just a few of them. We're thankful for Neil, who is just amazing. If you do not know, Neil started Camp Heartland for kids with HIV, did that for over 20 years, said I'm not doing camp anymore, took one year off, and started Camp Hometown Heroes. And for that, we're really extremely grateful that he didn't run out of energy because it's changed our lives. We're so thankful. We're thankful for the bonds with other families and kids that um, help us to know that we're not alone. Uh, alone and that we're honored to be able to wear these shirts and bring uh, awareness to camp. We also want to thank the other volunteers that are about, or in the group somewhere. If you see them with shirt time, please, please, please give them a hug and thank them because they probably volunteer more than just tonight. 
they volunteer at camp and buy some uh, raffle tickets. Uh, we really thank you for that. And then finally, I just want to just say, please go to the Facebook page, Camp Hometown Heroes. Donate, volunteer, like it, share it, whatever the case may be. We're just really thankful for the proceeds. Thank you for you all and the other bands that are to play and give the money so that other kids can go to camp. We're grateful. Thank you. Regina and Dylan, I know you don't like I used to coach you, and you were a hell of a fullback. He was so quiet, now he's so tall, and he's such a good public speaker. Regina and Dylan, make some noise. That's what we're here, and that's what we're doing this for. We're going to have fun doing it. We're, we're going to do it in style. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to a band that has had over 2 million hits on YouTube. I can't even fathom. I had an album once that went aluminum. <laughs> they 